to my channel so I'm gonna do a haul for you guys today I am like super excited because I have wanted to do this haul for like oh my god probably two weeks already but um I think what my schedule it kind of so um, I went shopping and this is not shopping at one time this is stuff that I've ordered online, stuff when I went to Sephora, um, things that I've just been picking up here and there in Target, CVS, things like that. And I just put them all together for you guys so you guys so can see what I got. So the first thing I want to show you guys is I got, I, well I picked this up in Sephora and it's the hour, no actually I ordered online the Sephora, the Hourglass Primer. It's the Mineral Veil Primer and I'm... I've used this before and uh, probably maybe over a year ago I used actually I think it was a sample one and I liked it it's just a little expensive um, this is something I don't use every day because it is expensive I usually use my Maybelline um, what is that the Poi eraser or whatever it is um, I use that one but this one I will use on um, maybe the days that I go out. Like I said before, I don't know why I do that, but I guess because it does cost a little bit more. This is on the pricey side, but um, I really like this. It does give you a smooth surface. It's probably one of the best um, primers I've used. The next I've thing used, I so. got, and I bought this up in my... Um, no, I actually didn't bring it up in my April favorites, but I ordered online the Whitening Lightning. Of course, I have to put, throw Whitening Lightning in here because I think their products are really, really awesome. Like, I cannot say enough good things about their products. From the lip gloss to the BB cream to their um, teeth whiteners. And I ordered, this is two of the Super Booster Whitening Pens. And all you have to do with these pens, and let me show you how they look. See, they're like this and you just open them up and what you do is you just turn this here and then you can put this part you put it on your teeth so what I do in the morning well no actually at night is after I brush my teeth for the night I dry my teeth off and then I apply this now I don't drink or eat anything afterwards this is like right when I'm going to sleep I wake up with Next nice bright I white got, teeth I actually went to um, the Mac store and I got um this soft brown eyeshadow and I'm loving this color as a transition shade it's really pretty I'll swatch it on my finger for you guys if you can see that it's a really pretty transition color and I use this basically every single day the only thing my Mac doesn't sh um, sell like the pans where you can put them in your Z palettes so they have it like this, which is not a problem for me. I just keep it out every day so that I don't forget about it too. And this color is Happy Go Lucky. I picked this up. Um, this is from their Playland collection that just came out. If you guys don't know about it, you could go to their website. It's pretty much really, really bright colors. They even have, I believe, like a yellow lipstick. I wasn't feeling the yellow lipstick too much, but I'm all into pink and all about pink. So um, I picked up Happy Go Lucky, and I'll swatch it for you guys. And it's, oh my God, I have not worn this yet because I haven't had a chance to wear it. I don't want to wear it to work because I think it's a little much for work. But I think when I go out to dinner with my husband or the girls or anything like that, I think I'm going to throw this on. This is probably my first I lipstick choice of the night from so MAC. And this one, I I think I saw this on Jaclyn Hill when she did a tutorial on this. And this is the Tan Pigment. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is gorgeous. This is, I mean, I can't even say enough about it. I don't know if you guys can even see that. But this pigment probably will last you probably years on years on years. I don't know if you can keep it for that long, but I mean, this will last for a pretty long time. I actually did a makeup look on my best friend's daughter, and she was doing her um, engagement pictures, and I used this pink um, pigment. She's pretty much, she likes a lot of dark makeup and dark eyeliner, but I told her, I said, just try it out. You're going to love it, and she spilling the pigment all over and she actually did love it so let me just swatch how it looks on my finger for you guys really quickly hold on 
Okay, this is how it looks and oh my God, this is gorgeous. It is beautiful. What I do is I spray a little of my MAC Fix um, Plus, excuse me, okay. I spray a little of my MAC Fix Plus on my brush and then that's, I dip my brush in here and I have it a little bit wet and that's how I apply it just to get a little bit more pigmentation. But this is perfect. So I, I was am in, in love CBS with this. and I picked up this Wet n Wild, um, the Naked Truth palette. And this is how it looks. I actually have been wearing these colors a lot more than I thought I would. You know, Wet n Wild is fairly cheap. They're not expensive at all. They're very inexpensive. But when I saw this palette, I was like, oh, I have to have it because I am all about neutral colors and I am loving it. These, pal these um, palettes themselves, they are so pigmented. I'm really loving all the colors in these palettes. Look at this. I'll swatch them here on my fingers for you guys. These are all the swatches right here. This is how nice they look. They are beautiful. I love them and I'm picking up I was this palette CBS, a lot. And I've been hearing a lot about the L'Oreal Magic New Liquid Powder, um, the foundation that it goes from liquid to powder. I haven't used it yet, so I really can't tell you guys how I like it, but I did pick it up and I picked up mines in... Oh, okay. Natural. I picked mine up in Natural Buff 318. So this is how it looks. I heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm going to so try anyway, that So as I well. picked up these Maybelline Color Tattoo, the 24-hour ones. Now, they came out with the new, the new colors. And I guess like... Um, I'm like I said I'm into nude and neutral so I'm basically loving um, these colors that they came out with I picked up two and these are what are these what names what are the names oh pure nude and nude compliment so it's uh, number 90 and number 80 and these are how they look and this kind of reminds me, um, this one kind of reminds me a lot of Kitten from the Stilla palette for some reason. And look at that color. That's the color right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I'm loving this color for all over base on my lid. And like I said, this one is the one pure nude. And then even... This color on my lid looks really pretty as well. I actually wore this to work and a lot of people were asking what I had on my lid. So, and this is that color right here on the bottom. And this one is in like, mm, nude compliments. So I really like these the, oh, two Oh, you know what well. I forgot? I did pick up something else from MAC. So let me go back to MAC and I did pick up, okay. So I've been hearing a lot about this blush and of course I had to go run out and get it and it's Max Melba and I'm telling you guys this is heaven. I am in love with this blush and the reason why is because this is an everyday blush that you can wear basically every day to work. I have it on my cheeks now. It's not too much. It's not overbearing. I mean, I just love it. If you guys can pick up MAC Melba, I mean, this is um, a really, really beautiful blush and probably you know, I'm kind of all over the place, but I have everything in like this basket right here. And um, so, yeah, so everything that I see, I'm just picking up. So I picked up these new lipsticks and um, they're the new L'Oreal Paris lipsticks. I don't know if you guys have seen them in your drugstore. See, I think they only have like four or five. I'm not sure, but I just got two and they're called, um, they're from, it's called privy and they're by basically by um this is how they look they're black which i love the packaging the black and the gold that's what really caught my eye i was actually on the line um buying excuse me i was actually on the line paying for my stuff and i was with my husband and my daughter and i was like oh my god i saw these like just there like in the aisle like right there in front on that in the center of the aisle whatever it is and I was like what the hell is that so of course I had to have them and I think they're named after celebrities so this one is Eva's nude 610 and I'll swatch this on my hand for you guys Oh my god, this is such a pretty new color. I really it has a kind of a pink undertone, but it is gorgeous. I love it. 
So that one is Eva Nude, Eva's Nude, and that's 610. And then I have here, um, this one is Juliana's Nude, 620. It's probably basically the same. No, it's not the same color. Oh, no, it's different. This one is a little lighter than the other one. The other one, I think, is a little darker um, on the tone. And <clears throat> what the heck is up with my voice? What am I going through, puberty? But anyway, um, this is um, the, the next one that I bought. See, it's a little bit more pinky. The other one is a little darker. But I'm loving these guys. And um, I, I don't think, I think they're limited edition. So if you want these, I go bought something else. Them. I went I, to Sephora and I got... Um, another blush I like that I heard a lot about and this is my NARS what is this my NARS madly blush and I like to go okay, I picked up I went to Sephora and I picked up this blush um, NARS madly and I've heard a lot of good things about this one too and this is an everyday blush for me as well and if you like me and you're going to work whatever I mean you want to put on a little blush these are the best ones I think the Mac Melba and this one I like for everyday blushes and I have basically nowhere to swatch anything else but I have my finger here so I'll just swatch it on my finger this is I go really to Sephora pretty. and they get me all the time when I'm walking to pay my um to go to the register and to um, check out and you go to that little aisle that they have around there with all those little things that you can buy so I always pick up something all the time so of course I had to pick up another uh, beauty blender I had to pick up another beauty blender and because I love these you know I do use the real techniques ones and I like them as well but I don't think anything can compare to the original beauty blender so I usually have so I usually have like two on deck for me and then I'll have like my real techniques up, that I oh do Oh my use. god guys and it's a little dirty right now. Oh my god is it? Oh it's not too too bad but let me tell you guys if you are looking for a brush cleaner now. I used to clean my brushes with um, I think it was Johnson & Johnson's um, shampoo baby shampoo or dawn and i still do it for my smaller brushes but for the big brushes and for the beauty blender i never could figure out why i couldn't clean my beauty blender so i'm gonna tell you i got this i picked this up in sephora and oh my god this is like a godsend for your beauty blender it works like butter i love this it is so good i mean honestly i think it's just a bar of dove soap in there or i could be wrong but anyway this is like all you do is wet your beauty blender slightly and then what you do is take it and you um just wipe it in here and i mean your beauty blender looks brand new I mean, it's so, I've never seen anything like it before. So That's the next why I'm thing so I amazed. got from Sephora was, um, I got this Stilla. Now, I don't know why I picked this up because I do have um, the Stilla in the light palette. And um, it does have the same shade in this. But I just like this little kind of little compact thingy here. And I picked this one up. And this actually is the All Over Shimmer Duo in Kitten. And I think, what would Lizzie do? Because I'm like obsessed with her channel. And I think she mentioned this. And that's why when I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta have that. So I'm loving this. It's really pretty. You can use it as um, a highlight on your um, on your cheeks. You can use it um, as your base for your eyeshadow. I'm loving this color. And like I said, I have nowhere else to put swatches for you guys. But this is pretty nice. I hope you guys can see that. It's I am loving this. Better Than Sex Mascara. I got this in actually online because Sephora was um, all out when I went. And this is basically a love-hate relationship with this. The only thing I don't like is I feel like the mascara clumps up a lot. But I do think it does give you like that kind of, um, the lashes, like those thick lashes and I don't have I have very little small lashes so anything that I could get to make them look fuller um Pick this up actually in um I don't know if it was the salon when I went and got my hair done or it was Ulta I don't remember but I remember somebody talking about this I think it was my hairdresser shout out to Erin so um she 
told me about the it's a 10 i've heard a lot of good things about it but i never wanted to get it because it was so expensive but i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it just cough up the 16 bucks whatever it is for this and this one is a small one it's a four ounce this is how it looks i have not used it yet it came with the miracle hair mask which i heard is the bomb so i'm probably gonna use it tomorrow and i could probably tell you guys um basically how i liked it but i'm pretty much guessing that i will like this because all i see is good reviews hey guys, on this so the next 10. thing is i the next thing i picked up was um and i mentioned these in my april favorite so i'm not gonna go really really into these but i picked up these two lip glosses from whitening lightning and i picked up um nude and pink tiara and i can't say enough good things about these glosses they basically um they go on smooth they don't have any nasty smell to them um they're highly pigmented i mean there's nothing bad i can say I about got them these two so items. i'm in my ipsy um bag and i didn't op do an opening of the ipsy bag because i wasn't really impressed this month but um i just wanted to show you guys what i got so i i'm not really liking these lip gloss these lipsticks that they send me i mean they're called kaylin i believe they're like this this one is in acid pink now i like the color of it but i hate this i hate this packaging for this lip gloss because first of all i don't use this and it is a really really pretty color and it is pigmented really highly pigmented it's very pretty look at that there it is really pretty i just hate the packaging on these i just it just annoys me so much i don't know why it just i hate this i hate it but anyway this is what i got from that bag and then also i got this which i haven't tried yet but i'm thinking i'm gonna like it and this is city color white gold and it's um an eyeshadow and i kind of swatched this and oh my god guys if you can see that it's like really really pretty but it doesn't come out like white gold i'll put it on the back of my hand it comes out like really really like this beautiful really gold color if you guys could see that isn't that pretty um i'm gonna probably try it soon but i haven't gotten a chance to use it but i'm loving the way it looks already the texture and the color of it i'm loving so those two products i got more stuff in my ipsy bag but it was like eh, whatever so hopefully this month um i wanted stuff. to show you guys was my the um, i got like maybe one two three four palettes and why did I put up four? Like, this is eight. Four palettes. And, okay. So, I had to have this palette. And the only reason why I had to have it is because I have naked two. I have naked basics. I have naked two. And I have naked three. The only one I was missing was naked one. So, I did pick this up when I went to Sephora. And they had it there. Which, a lot of times, they're sold out on the naked one. I've used it a couple of times already. You guys can probably tell. Um, I've used dark horse a lot because that's basically my favorite color from here and sin i love half baked and naked as well i'm loving these colors they're a little different than the second palette they're a lot different than the third one of course but um i wanted to have the whole kind of one two three four the whole thing so oh no one two three and then the naked basics not one two three four but i wanted um just i guess to have my i don't even know what i'm trying to say i just wanted to have them all so whatever it is i had to get it so i picked my it april up favorites as well so, and this is the Too faced bonjour soleil contouring palette i'm not gonna go really into it because i do go into it in my april favorites and i'll list that video down below but i am loving this and i'm picking this up every single day every single day to contour i am picking this baby up okay um so I've been picking this up every single day to contour and even when I'm not using this to contour I use this um, sun bunny as like a little slight bronzer for all over the face so I definitely would tell you guys to get this because this is like perfect palette that I got I love it. was from Sephora as well and I got this it's called Pantone Universe um, palette I think color of the year whatever it is but this Thing is huge it basically looks like an iPad 
my kids thought it was an iPad and they got all so happy and I was like, oh, no, it's not an iPad. It's my makeup. And they were like, oh God, makeup again. But anyway, so um, I'm loving this. It is big, so it's not um, travel friendly at all, I think. But since it was a limited edition, I had to have it. And the colors are really, really nice in this. And they're really highly pigmented. They are so pigmented. Oh, let me get this out. See, it does come with one of these sheets that go... Oh, that goes right here where you can see the names blah 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 whatever but look at that mirror it's huge and then also um they have all these colors i mean you could probably use this all the time you don't need any other palettes but it's really pretty i love them they're them on my fingers in. now for you guys um a couple of the colors here let me get this blue one look at how beautiful those are they are so beautiful and of course i know it's still in sephora or what actually I got this online they were out when I went so I picked it up and I so I ordered it online instead of going to Sephora but I'm loving this and if you guys love the colors like I do they have such nice colors for spring and summer and then they have neutral colors oh my god you guys have to oh get my this. god so I got this palette in um a couple of days ago and I posted a picture up of the colors on this I'll try to see if I can put that picture in here for you guys to see So, oh my god, I'm loving this palette. I am, oh my god, in love with this palette. It's the Lorac Summer Glow Palette. These are the colors. <gasps> Look at those colors. They are gorgeous, guys. I mean, this is the perfect, perfect palette for summer and spring. I mean, you have your neutrals here and you have like this peach color it's kind of like a peachy kind of pink color they don't have any names to them but um i mean yeah because it's i get this is a really small palette it's only what eight colors but it does come with um two highlighter shades here i usually use this white for on uh, my brow bone and this one is a base usually um for my lid so i'm telling you guys i've used this already like twice they have a gold color this. here They're a darker one than a lighter kind of shimmery gold color Color. then they have this matte brown color here at the end and they have another matte brown color but it's a little lighter also I use this as my transition shade and then I go in with this shade like right towards the ends of my eyebrow uh, uh, eyebrow towards the end of my eyeshadow just to give it a, that little something to stand out then of course there has these this blue like kind of I don't know if this is aqua I don't really know what aqua looks like so I don't know but they have like this baby blue color here and then this purple color here oh my god I am in love with this palette and you guys need to pick this up because it was not expensive at all I think I paid like 20 is it guys I have nothing it. else to show you I think I showed you um pretty good amount of stuff that I picked up and I will be living in my car pretty soon because um, I'm spending all my money on makeup no just kidding but anyway um, so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel remember to give it a thumbs up as well and I love your comments on my um, videos because I love interacting with you guys so please leave any comments below or if you guys want any tutorials on any of the products that I shown I'll be happy to do those for you and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!